channel is spread love and positive vibes and we want to start by thanking our new subscribers our returning subscribers we value you we appreciate you and we thank you so much and i tell you we pray for you and you know the prayer and uh, i want to encourage you to share subscribe comment like our videos and we're going to appreciate today we are going to look at the luxurious facilities in jamaica we have talked about Jamaica, we have talked about the beauty of Jamaica and the resorts, the waterfalls, the rivers, the forest, the agricultural crops grown in Jamaica, the culture, a lot of things we have seen in Jamaica. But today I want us to specifically go deeper and see some of the luxurious facilities you can actually go to when you go to Jamaica. And we are also going to see the mango. We have heard this story about the mango and jam tours. Jam tour is a Jamaican. And we want to find out what is going on with the jam tour and the mango. So we are going to cover those two things in this video. And welcome back so that we can have positivity together and love. Now let me start with the Jamaica. Jamaica the rad we all love. We have said it now and again that Jamaica is a beautiful destination and that is why irrespective of the travel bannings, travel advice that we have had over the years, people keep on flocking in Jamaica in large numbers. We gave you statistics of the people who enter Jamaica as tourists every year and we said and said it clearly, people flock in Jamaica because of the goodness of Jamaica, because of the beauty of Jamaica, because of the good heart of the Jamaican people. And you say that one of the attraction sites in Jamaica are the beaches, the resorts, the waterfalls, the many uh, rivers where you can have so many activities, the mountain, like the Blue Mountain. The lagoons, we have seen there are so many lagoons in Jamaica. The caves, we have seen also there are so many caves in Jamaica. And that is why people cannot resist the beauty of Jamaica. They cannot resist going and experiencing this beauty, experiencing this mind-blowing beauty and so many activities that you can never get bored in Jamaica. Actually, I'm repeating the words of the Mango. Her, uh, during her last days in Jamaica, she actually went to a resort. I think the name of the resort was Zoe Tree, something like that. And we all saw the beauty of that resort. Actually, she took us around the Zoe Tree Resort. And we saw the beauty of the resort with the baboo trees, with the facilities, the rooms, the kind of food, the fruits, the Jamaican plantain, the food, the beautiful food, and the tasty food that we have talked about about Jamaica. Actually, we have talked so much. And uh, Dimongo went ahead and showed us the activity you can do when you arrive at Zoetre Hotel. But I saw in the comment section, some people are saying, this is not a five-star hotel. But to me, the hotel looked so beautiful. The rooms were so beautiful. The facilities were so beautiful. The activities, the tennis, the snorkeling, the swimming. There were some swimming pools. And therefore I thought, though maybe according to people, it was not a five-star hotel. It was a, a good hotel, a beautiful facility, a comfortable facility that was providing a lot. And the Mongo actually told us it was so friendly. The people are very friendly. There was cordial uh, welcome from the staff of the hotel. And uh, we saw the man who was taking her out. He was very, very welcoming. And therefore, I decided to find out, are there other better facilities? than Zoetre facility and I came across this facility whereby it is called uh, Loud Hill Hotel and Villas Loud Hill Hotel and Villas and according to the people they were actually saying this is where most of the celebrities go and rest both celebrities of Jamaica and celebrities outside Jamaica and if you find a place where celebrities are going it is a classic place. It's a wonderful place. It is a place with a lot of facilities. 
and I decided to look at what is inside the Loud Hotel, or rather the Loud Hill Hotel and Villas. What are some of the things that you find inside the hotel uh, ground, and what are some of the activities that you can do there, and what are some of the foodstuffs you can eat from there. Remember that even where Dimongo was, the Zoetry Hotel, it had a bar, it had a garden, outside garden, it had a swimming pool, it had some activities like snow cream, it had so many facilities, even outdoor seats. And therefore we saw you can actually relax because every person that goes for a tour, if I come to Kenya and I visit Jamaica for a tour, I want to have a good time. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy. I want to relax from all the works I've been doing over the years. And therefore, you're going to look at the facility that is going to give you the best. The resting, the activities, the entertainment, all that. And I tell you, Jamaican's hotel are more than good. They are wonderful. I looked at two hotels and I want to tell you that the things I saw in those hotels are wonderful. And I'm going to share with you, if you're planning a tour to Jamaica, these are the kind of hotels that you should visit. Actually, I'm just talking about that because I love Jamaica, not because I've been paid to advertise. By the way, I don't know the owners of these hotels. But I want to say I get captivated to talk about the good things. I see in Jamaica because every facility I see, it's so beautiful, it's so captivating, it's so entertaining, it's so magnetic <coughs> to the people that are watching it. And actually I felt these are the kind of facilities I would want to enjoy if I arrived in Jamaica one day. So let us look at the Round Hill Hotel and Villa. First of all, this villa is located near a beach, by the way. This, most of these hotels or the resorts, they are actually near the beach. So you can enjoy the serene atmosphere of the beach. You can actually feel the cool air of the sea and enjoy the activities that are done in the beach. They are actually located near the beach. And one of the things that I write about this hotel, it has an outdoor pool. It has actually two swimming pools. And therefore, if you are a lover of water like the Mwango, you can actually enjoy swimming any time of the day and having a good time in the water and enjoying the clear blue water of Jamaican Sea. And therefore, it has two swimming pools. Therefore, one can enjoy and have a good time in the pools. Then it has a restaurant. All of us Actually, what we look for when we are looking at the hotel to go to, we look at the kind of food they offer, the kind of facilities they offer, the bathroom, the rooms, the bed, everything. Almost all the facilities they offer there. And I was looking at the Loud Hill Hotel and I was seeing that they have a restaurant whereby if you are like staying there, you can actually go to the restaurant, you order breakfast, you order lunch, you order, but it is all inclusive. All inclusive means if you book a place there, and I was seeing using the Kenyan money, it's about 92,000 Kenyan money. That is about how many dollars? Is it eight dollars, 800 dollars, something like that? So I saw uh, that uh, when you book these hotels, it is all inclusive. You can do all the activities in the hotel. You can have the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, and you enjoy every facility in that resort. So they have a restaurant where you can go and have your meal. They have a sea garden, and therefore you can go down the garden, feeling the beauty of the different plants in the garden, and you enjoy your... So apart from the sea garden, like our, we have seen this hotel has a sea garden, they have an airport shuttle. That means if you are coming from a country and you are dropped in the airport, the shuttle can pick you and take you to the hotel. So they have that facility which is actually convenient and it is actually so nice because once you are dropped in the airport, you don't have to bother where do I go next, what is the direction, where is the hotel and all that. 
you will just be picked from there by their shuttle and be taken to the hotel. They have a beach front. I said that earlier, you can actually enjoy the facilities of the beach because they have the beach front. And then there are some activities that you can do in this hotel. You can do aerobics. You can enjoy yourself and do all the aerobics that you want and have a good time there. They have this facility so that you don't get bored because you say that in Jamaica, you can never afford to get bored. You are catered for entertainment is full because Jamaicans themselves are entertainers. Jamaicans themselves are happy people. Jamaicans themselves are so captivating. Actually, we looked at the characteristics of the men of Jamaica. And actually, if you have not watched that video, go and watch that video. You see the kind of uh, people we have. They are dancers, they are entertainers, they are jokers. So you can never get bored. And therefore, here in this hotel, there are aerobic activities and there is a tennis court where you can actually go and play tennis and have a good time. They have a fitness center. Imagine, guys, going to a hotel and they have a gym. Every time you want to relax, or rather every time you have some free time, you can go to the gym and actually do some activities in the gym. And if you are on a, on a fitness table, or rather you are in, in a fitness program, you don't stop it because these hotels have the facilities. They have a fitness center where you're going to go and have your activities done there. You do your activities, you do your fitness. Yeah, so they have that. They have a fitness center. They have aerobics. They, can, they have live music performance. The artists are booked to come and entertain the people in the hotel so they have live performance and by the way i love live performances actually i used to travel so far to go and uh, watch live performance so they have this facility and therefore you cannot get bored uh, during the day or at night because during the day there are activities that you can do and at night there are activities you can do so they have that the live music they have also movie nights you can watch a movie. There are nights that they have allocated that you can watch movies and then entertain yourself and have a good time. We say that they have tennis equipment and therefore you can play tennis and have a good time. They have water sporting activities that are done in the water. You can do them. Night clubs and DJ. There are some clubs that call DJ so that they can play some songs and dance and entertain people that are in the hotel and therefore you will not get bored. We have said there is, uh, what, snorkeling. That one we had said. There is diving. You can go and dive. You can have a good time if you're a diver. If you don't fear height, you can dive and have a good time. There is karako. I don't know what that is. The Jamaicans in the house can tell us that. And there is also table tennis and they have games room and they have also that you know if you are a dart player you're going to get a very very good time in that hotel so all those activities are found in loud hill hotel and therefore once you book that hotel you can never ever get bored apart from that they have foods, all the varieties of foods that we have seen in Jamaica. Rice and uh, what? Rice and chicken. There is a uh, starfish and uh, what? Rice. All those aki and starfish. All those foods that we have talked about them in Jamaica. You can find them in those hotels. There is also a lot of fruits. We saw the mango taking a lot of fruits. Variety berries, uh, mangoes bananas, uh, apples, pineapples, a lot of fruit. And therefore, if you're a fruit, a fruit lover, you are well catered for. So those are the facilities found in Loud Hill Hotel. I've forgotten to say there is free Wi-Fi. Once you arrive in that hotel, you can access the Wi-Fi and actually do your, if you are actually a content creator, you can actually do your content you do your editing, you do your video posting while you are there. The other hotel that I saw was being called the Breathless Montenegro Bay. 
the Breathless Montenegro Bay. And this is an exceptional, they have an exceptional breakfast. I don't know what this breakfast consists of, but they are saying they have an exceptional breakfast, outdoor activities like swimming and so on. They have a spa and wellness center. Imagine you go to a spa, you are done massage and you're done all that. And they have a wellness center where you can go and keep fit. They have, uh, it is just next to the beach and therefore you can have beach activities. They have a private parking and even the other hotel we have booked at, they have also a private parking because parking is important if you are going there with that in a vehicle. Garden facilities from, uh, yeah, you can actually have the, the walk around, around the garden and have a good time. Bath or shower, that is obvious. Private bathroom, that is obvious. Fireplace. I have the other hotel. I didn't see. I see they have a fireplace. But this one, Britres Montenegro Bay, they have a fireplace. If you're feeling cold, you can actually have a good time uh, enjoying the heat of the fire. Outdoor furniture, you can go outside and have a good time outside the hotel. They have that those facilities. And then the activities you can do in this hotel, Britres Montenegro Bay, you can do beach. Walking around the beach and feeling good and walking inside the water and the white sand soils and so on. You can also have tennis. They have a tennis court. They have evening entertainment. They have nightclub and DJ. We have seen in, even in the other hotel there was snorkeling, diving, casino. So you can go and play uh, if you are a rougher of those games, the games of casino. You can also go and play golf. This hotel has golf course. And therefore, if you are a of golf, you can actually enjoy yourself in Britres Montenegro B Hotel. Apart from that, they have all different, different types of foods that we have talked about in the Loud Hill Hotel. They have fruits, they have coffee. Remember that Jamaica has the best coffee. These hotels have bars, so you can have the best rum. We have talked about Jamaica having the best rum, the best beer, the best everything, entertainment. So these hotels have all those facilities and uh, I was actually feeling like I am already in these hotels when I was going through them and seeing the facilities that are there in these hotels. So if you are planning to go to Jamaica, you can actually book in these hotels, Britres, Montenegro Bay and um, the Loud Hill Hotel and Vera. I found that the prices are almost the same in Kenyan shillings. I was finding that it is around 90,000 Kenyan shillings. That is about 800 US dollars, something like that. So you can go and enjoy yourselves. Now the next thing that I wanted us to look at is the Jam Tours and the Mango. This is a story that we have been hearing from the haters camp. That is a gun. They have been telling us how the Mwango scammed, jam to us, a lot of stories, a lot of stories that I don't want to repeat them because I don't want to give these haters a marriage. And therefore they have told us a lot about this story of jam to us and uh, the Mwango. And I told them when the Mwango was meeting jam to us, none of us was there. None of us listened to the conversation they had or to the agreement they had or to the deals they were doing together. None of us were there. But uh, when they disagreed, Jam Tua went to the media. Instead of talking to the Mwango, sorting their problems in private, he actually went to the resident camp and they had a video so that they can actually pull down or destroy the Mwango's name. But I am surprised because the resident thought that by putting all this in uh, social media, by actually shouting every day about the mango, uh, and uh, these people, like uh, this girl called Amkalo, she was always saying that the mango will never come home, she will be caught and go to the police station, she will spend her life in jail, a lot of shenanigans. But uh, I was surprised, guys. You know, it is very bad to create an image that uh, of a devil where it is not like that. These women have created an image of the Mwango as a thief, as a scam, as a what? All those names they call her. They never bothered to find out 
what is happening between Dimwango and Jam to us. They got the story from one side of this guy Jam to us and they actually twisted it uh, and brought in social media talking every day about it. In fact, in the other video I shot yesterday, I talked about this story because they are still talking about it and talking about a jam to us the way he was scammed and a lot of shenanigans. But I was surprised because this problem was sorted out in secret place between Dimwango and Jam Tours and actually Dimwango never talked about anything. This Jam Tour is the one who came and said, I have been sorted out, we have resolved our case with Dimwango, my money has been returned or something like that and now we are okay, I'm okay with Dimwango. She can continue with her content creation, she can continue with her life. And I wondered, where are the haters? Are they dying? Uh, do they want to hang themselves? Because according to them, this was a very bad case and they were declaring that the Mwango will go to jail, the Mwango will stop shooting videos, the Mwango accounts will be freezed, the Mwango YouTube account will be pulled down, a lot of things. And I want to tell you, do not get a story and start twisting it, start telling lies so that you can destroy other people. Because this case, None of us know how it has been sorted out. Because Jam Tua just came and told us that he has been paid his money. And it is very unfortunate because people have talked so, so badly about Dimwango. I don't know now what you are going to do or you are going to go back to your channels and talk or rather reverse the talks you have been talking about Dimwango. Because according to you people, it was a lot of money that the mango could not pay. It is so ironical, it is so bad to speak about somebody, to destroy somebody, to pull down somebody, to try to taint somebody bad, while you yourself, you are the worst. Because why are you interfering with the case of two people who were alone when they were going through all these shenanigans, when they were alone when they were making these deals, they were alone when they were having these agreements, and none of us were there. Why come now and interfere with them and start spreading rumors, spreading gossips, destroying, tainting people's bad names? That is not called for. And today, I think the haters are feeling like hanging themselves. They are in a bad state. They are feeling bad because what they thought will grow negatively has not. And I thank God for that. Thank you, D, for sorting out the problem amicably in the secrets and none of them, them have come to know what happened or what transpired between you and Jam Tours. And I also want to thank Jam Tours for being mature, waiting until this case is sorted out and uh, keeping your cool. That is remarkable. And therefore, guys, I think I'll end there. See you during the next video. Bye-bye and God bless.